All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you how to apply the Rigidizer on the Mr. Volcano um, Hero 2 Forge Kit. All right, guys, so this is just a bottle of water I'm using to lightly mist both sides of the insulation. Um, this is the first step. Um, that's what the directions said. Um, they said do this before the Rigidizer. I'm assuming just so the Rigidizer um, kind of soaks in better. All right, so same thing on the other side, lightly misting. Okay, so the next step is adding 16 ounces rigidizer into 16 ounces of water. I use a separate spray bottle for this. All right, so now, according to the directions, you're supposed to shake this vigorously uh, for 45 seconds, so that's why I'm shaking so much. Extremely dramatic, and somehow, yet nothing is happening. <laughs> I didn't like adjust the nozzle beforehand so it just came out in like a massive stream so um that's why i was messing around with the sprayer but i finally started getting it so i'll be honest i had no idea how much arm strength it takes to uh spray a bottle a million times so I decided to kind of fast forward this part because I'm literally just spraying um, 32 ounces of liquid everywhere. Um, so just kind of make sure that you're evenly um, coating each side. Um, so this side, I'm kind of just going over it. I get to like halfway through the bottle, I believe, um, and then I start flipping sides. Alright, so I got about halfway through the bottle and decided to flip sides. Um, and by the way, you do need to wear um, a mask and gloves with this. Um, I only had like an N95 mask and honestly, I don't really know how much it did. Um, and then the gloves obviously are just, uh, I don't know, there might be nitrile gloves. But um, let me tell you guys something. This stuff got on my skin, and, like on my arms, my forearms, and it literally burned me. And I don't know if it was like from the insulation or if it was from the rigidizer itself, but definitely, definitely wear long sleeves or like, I don't know, longer gloves or something. Like do not get this on your skin. It'll hurt. All right. So at this point, my arms are on fire <laughs> just from literally spraying, you know, 32 ounces of liquid. Um, that's why I keep fidgeting and like switching hands and being all dramatic. Let's just get on with it already. All right, so for this part, I kind of picked up the edges and just made sure I coated those real well um, on every side just so I don't miss any spots. All right, so um, I've also never filmed anything before, really, like a, an actual video. So if you keep seeing me, like, looking into the camera, it's just to make sure that I'm actually, you know, that the camera's in the right spot, that I'm holding everything in the right spot. So, yeah. Honestly, at this point, I was like, I need a beer. My, my arms hurt so bad. Basically, from here on out, I'm just kind of covering any, um, you know, light spots that I see and just 
trying to use up as much of this liquid as I can. Um, I actually didn't end up using it all. I, I honestly, I probably had like maybe two to three ounces of it left over. I just could not do it anymore, but um, I think it was fine. Honestly, it wasn't a big deal, um, but it did split right there if you can see that. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. Hopefully it'll cure all right. All right, so this is actually the hardest part of the whole thing. Um, this is when you have to put the insulation inside the um, forge. So every time I watched a YouTube tutorial on this, I'm like, oh my God, like they're taking forever. Like what, what's what's so hard about this? This is so hard. It's, it's, it's big and it's wet and it just like doesn't move really that easily. Um, and then you have to make sure that you line up the holes in the insulation with the holes that, um, you know, the burners are going to go in. So it's actually super hard. It's not exactly that flexible. Um, it's, you know, super just big and just so annoying. So at this point, I was super frustrated. It was very obnoxious. Um, you know, just going back and forth, wrestling with this thing. So this part's really important um, when I'm like feeling around in there I'm making sure that the insulation is lined up uh, with the burner holes um, because if not obviously your heat source isn't going to get in there so you really have to make sure that the holes are um, all the way lined up. Okay so once again I keep looking in the camera just to make sure that you know everything's good and that I'm still in the view. At this point, it's in there. Um, I'm kind of just going around the edges and pinching them um, just to make sure the insulation is, you know, it's kind of smoothed out and everything. Um, you don't really want any holes because um, after this, once this cures, you're going to be putting the refractory over this. So you really don't want holes. So this is the part where long sleeves come in handy. I should have just pulled my sleeves down, um, but instead I got it all over my arms um, and it definitely hurts. I mean, it's definitely burned. All right, so we made it finally just showing you kind of what it looks like on the inside and then just showing you that the holes are clear. You can see through, um, which is what you want. So yeah. All right, so I just finished applying the rigidizer on the insulation. Um, so I'm gonna have to let that dry for about 24 to 48 hours and then I'll check back in.